Okay, so here we've got another question. However, it's a little bit more trickier. Now we want the area to the left of 55. Now you can see the mean is 50. And the standard deviation, you should say, is 3. Because 3 squared remembers the variance. So the standard deviation is indeed 3. Now 55 is not quite exactly one standard deviation above 50, is it? Nor is it two standard deviations above 50. It's something in the middle. And we don't have any memorized values for that. So we can't use what we've learned so far to answer this question. And I wouldn't make you memorize loads and loads of values because really and truly, there will be infinite amounts to memorize. You can be within one standard deviation, within 1.5 standard deviations, within two standard deviations, within 2.5 standard deviations, and it goes on. So we can't keep memorizing values. And this one is clearly not within one nor within two. So those values we learn won't help us here. So this is the area the question wants us to work out. The area to the left of 55. Now I've got some good news for you. Working this out is very easy. You simply just use your calculator. What you need to do in your calculator is go to the normal distribution function on your calculator and it might be different for different calculators. And on the calculator, it's gonna ask you the mean, the standard deviation and the X value. And whatever X value you put in, it works out the area to the left of it. So we're gonna put, so if we put in 55, it automatically only tells you the area to the left of it, which is good, because that's what we want. We want the probability of X being less than 55. Now, lots of calculators want two values within which you want the area. Now, of course, we want the area between 55 down to forever onwards. But how do we say that? So what you can do is put the upper bound as 55 and the lower bound as a value to the very far left of 55. It could be minus a million or minus a billion. Now, to be honest, once you've gone four standard deviations to the left of 55, you're not missing out much area. because so remember the curves got really close by now. So if you do area between 55 and for example, zero, you should be comfortable. You've gone many standard deviations to the left of 55. And the area you left out, which is to the left of zero, is insignificant. Even if you did between 55 and 30 as upper and lower bound, you're still pretty comfortable. And you can try it and test it out. Do areas between 55 and 40, 55 and 30, 55 and zero, 55 and minus a million, 55 and minus a billion. And you'll notice they don't make much difference. People get a bit worried and put a really, really far left number. I've seen people put minus 10 to the power of a really big number just in case they miss out a small amount of the area. But you need to be smart about it. So go ahead and try putting this into your calculator. And I'm going to show you how to do that on my calculator. And we get 0 0.95221. Okay, so we've got three more questions here. So in the first one, we've got X is distributed normally with the mean as eight and the variance as two squared, meaning the standard deviation is two. And we want the area to the left of five. So we want the probability of being five or less. Now, five is not a beautiful one standard deviation below eight, nor is it two standard deviations below eight. So it's not one of those questions where you're gonna use those memorized values you're gonna need your calculator for this. And to be honest, you'll always have a calculator. So even if you hadn't memorized those values, you'd be able to answer any questions on them. So this is a rough idea of the area we're looking for. But of course, you're gonna just simply put it into your calculator. So what are we gonna put into our calculator? Of course, we put the mean is eight, the standard deviation is two, and the upper bound is five, of course, we know that. But the lower bound, how far do you want to go? You want to go crazy go to minus 10 to the power of a big number if you like but if you did the upper bound as five and the lower bound as zero you're pretty safe but if you want to go crazy with it go for it no problems the answer will still be the same so long as you haven't kept too close to five if you did between five and four then you've missed out a lot of area so let's go ahead and put that into your calculator and you should have got 0 0.06681 now, I'll give you a moment and try the next question. 
Okay, so the next question says x is distributed normally, the mean is 23, and the standard deviation is 5 here. So this time it wants the probability of x is more than 30, meaning the area of 30 and more. Now this is going to look slightly different on the graph, because of course 30 is above the mean. So it wants this area here. This is a very rough drawing, and you don't need to always do this drawing. So you should know it's very similar to the previous question, but this time the lower bound is 30, and the upper bound is going to be a really big number to the very right of 30. So again, you can go crazy and put 30 to a billion, 30 to all the way up to 10 to the power, very big number. But if you've got a few standard deviations above 30, you're comfortable. 30 to 45 is more than enough. So put the mean is 23, the standard deviation is five, and the lower bound can be 30, and the upper bound, a big number. And you should get 0 0.08076. So here we've got the last question. So if you want to try it, so if you'd like to try it, pause the video and have a go. So it says X is distributed normally, the mean is 120, and the standard deviation is 4 here. And it wants the probability of being between 110 and 125. And to give you an idea about that, it's this area here. Both values are on either side of the mean. For this question, it's actually easier because you can clearly see what the lower bound and upper bound is. There's no trying big numbers like the previous questions. So simply just put the mean in as 120 and the standard deviation is 4 here, and the lower bound is 110, and the upper bound is 125. And you should have got 0 0.8814. We will do the other parts of normal distribution in another video. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.